Hi guys. A few of our readers have contacted us about a problem with their vinyl siding wrinkling. The actual description goes something like this. Our siding appears to be deforming or melting for no apparent reason. So what could be the cause of this? Believe it or not, some of the new energy efficient windows can. Today we'll share with you the effect low E windows can have on vinyl siding and offer up some tips for avoiding and alleviating this problem with your home. So you can see here the uh, vinyl siding is melted and deformed uh, to the point where it really needs to be replaced and uh, believe it or not this has already been replaced once. Uh, the owners didn't know exactly what happened the first time around. So some of you guys may not be familiar with low E windows and what those are. In this case it's actually a coating on the outside of the window that reflects some of the sun's rays that so basically it minimizes that greenhouse effect that you have where the sun comes in and it heats up the house so your air conditioner has to work twice as hard. In this case it reflects some of that so it uh, improves the energy efficiency of the house. This particular home is located in northern Ohio but the problem is really happening all over the United States. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the two houses in question here. This house here to the north uh, has the low E windows along this uh, wall here. The house next door has the uh, deformed or uh, melted siding along this side here, just across the way. Um, the house with the deformed siding is facing, as, as you're looking at this picture here, you're facing north. So this house is facing with the deformed siding a northwest heading. And then the house with the low E windows is more of a west-northwest because it's actually turned a little bit and tweaked. Um, there's about 22 feet from the corners of the rear of the buildings and then about 12 at the front. So this house is turned, which actually aids in the ability of the sun to come through and hit those windows and glance off. Here's a picture taken from between the two buildings from the rear. Okay guys, so what's the particular solution to this problem that we have here with these two homes? Um, you know, obviously we need to stop the reflection, either the sun from hitting the low E windows here, uh, or we need to stop the reflection from hitting the, uh, the adjacent house. So different ways to do that would be to replace the glass in the low E. Uh, we could also put screens over the windows here, although these are single hung windows, so that's really not a viable option. Um, we could put uh, awnings over top of the windows to stop the sun from hitting the glass. So that's really about all we can do with the house with the low E. Now between the houses we could do a landscape buffer that would stop the reflection from hitting the siding uh, and melting it. So that would be another option. And then I guess the last case option would be to change the material on the other house where the melted siding is so that it would, could withstand 200, 250 degree temperatures which um, I don't even know if that's really possible or if it's a good idea. We really should stop the reflection, in my opinion, as a builder. We at Armchair Builder wanted to let you know about this problem so you don't find yourself in the same situation. Lowy windows are extremely common now with the new energy requirements and new construction. So if you're looking at building or buying a new home, keep these things in mind. South-facing windows appear to be the biggest culprit. Homes that are built close together low E windows, and then of course jogs in your house can also create a situation where your own windows melt your own siding uh, if there's a 90 degree angle with the south facing window. So be on the lookout for that. So hey guys, I, I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are as to whether uh, this issue that we just looked at is the builder's responsibility. A builder built both of these houses about seven or eight years ago. Uh, place the houses, install the windows and, and uh, siding and selected those for both of the houses. Um, or do you think that the window manufacturer or the siding, vinyl siding manufacturer is responsible? So I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. So either leave comments here or, or get a hold of us at armchairbuilder.com.